Happy New Year parents and students and I hope that you all had a very restful break over the school holidays and that you were able to spend some really rewarding family time together. Now of course the new school term starts for all students tomorrow, Wednesday the 5th of January at 8.45am. So a normal start time for everyone at the students' normal entry points to school. And we look forward very much to welcoming your son back in full school uniform. Please do make sure he comes with a warm, plain, rain-resistant coat now that the winter's setting in properly, and with all his correct equipment and ready to learn. I would like briefly to share with you in this video some important updates since the end of last term. You are probably aware that following new guidance from the Department for Education, your son will now be required to wear a face mask in all his lessons as well as in other indoor areas of the school. It's really important that your son and all the students in school take full responsibility for wearing a face mask. And I ask you to please support the school with this very important measure. This means he must bring a clean face mask to school every day and ideally also a spare mask in case of loss or damage. The face mask should be a reusable one. Disposable face masks should only be used when absolutely essential. The school only has a limited supply of spare face masks and so if your son forgets to bring a mask or if he loses or damages his mask during the course of the day, we may need to contact you to bring a replacement to school. Boys will only be exempt from wearing a mask if they have a formal medical exemption. If you feel your son needs to be exempt from wearing a mask, please contact his head of house as a matter of urgency to discuss the situation. Now, as required by national guidelines, we will be administering on-site testing during your son's first three days back at school. That is during the 5th, 6th and 7th of January. Testing is only for students where we have consent. There has been a change in the guidance recently and your son should take a rapid lateral flow test even if he has returned a positive PCR test in the last 90 days. Please ensure that your son has had a rapid lateral flow test this evening or first thing tomorrow morning before he comes into school. In the coming weeks, please continue to ensure that your son tests regularly at home at least twice a week or every day if another member of the household has COVID symptoms or a positive test result. I'm sure you also know that requirements regarding self-isolation after a positive test result have changed the recommended period was 10 days, but this can now be reduced to seven days, providing your son tests negative on days six and seven after a positive PCR test. Please keep your son's house team up to date regarding his attendance as a result of this change. If you become aware that your son might have been in close contact with a positive COVID case, he can still attend school as long as he is symptom free, but he should do a daily rapid lateral flow test every day for seven days. We have stocks of test kits in school and if needed you can pick up a spare kit from student reception. Thank you for your continued support with these measures and together by following them we can ensure that school remains open. Now I want to finish off by reminding ourselves of why it is so important to keep schools open. It's easy to get distracted by COVID and to see it as one of the major preoccupations of school, but it's not. The reason it is so important for all of us to follow these guidelines is so that we can all then focus on the really important business of supporting your son to learn supporting all the boys to grow into responsible, respectful, hardworking, conscientious and helpful young men. So, the most important thing of all is for all the boys to return to school, yes, with reusable face masks and spares, yes, 
in full school uniform and full equipment, but most importantly, with a growth mindset, ready to learn, wanting to learn, determined to do well, and making the most of the really strong team of professionals who are here at the school to support him. Thank you for listening.